May Hillhouse was born in 1908 in Bloemfontein and grew up in Durban. She studied at the Natal Technicon and uh, under the auspices of Professor Oxley. She then, um, after, after studying there, she worked in, um, in a commercial art studio, producing lettering and illustration. And this is something she did for 10 years. And the, and the whole goal of this 10 year stint um, was to save up enough money to study in London under Martin Bloch. Professor Oxley had recommended that she study with this British master who had immigrated to England from Germany in 1934. His work was very much um, a mixture of figural, uh, representational art combined with um, a fair amount of abstraction. But his colouring and his colours what made him truly distinctive. He was a master of um, colour primary colours mixed with secondary and tertiary, sometimes a, a, a discord or two thrown in for good measure. So this period that May Hillhouse studied with him, she acquired these um, amazing skills which would later um, serve her very well throughout her career. She returned to Cape Town in 1940 and was asked to join the new group, which was a wonderful thing for her, to be surrounded by the cutting edge young artists of the time. The two works that we have on this online sale are um, a beautiful, bright and um, dynamic composition called Women from 1973. It's a beautiful, simplified and stylized subject which um, she pioneered in the 1960s. Um, developmentally, um, as mentioned earlier, in the 1940s she was working as a commercial artist and her style then was more representational or illustrative and later um, as the decades went on her style became more abstract um, further from representation. So uh, the, the beautiful work I've just described called Women is an abstracted work where the figures are all compressed in the picture plane and surrounded by vibrant halos of primary and secondary colors. Then the second work that's on this online sale is a work titled Composition. It's predominantly grey and monochromatic, but it's a work inspired by trees and boulders, a theme which um, Esme Berman refers to constantly when she describes the artist. It's fairly monochromatic in its colouring, and it uh, features a, a recurring motif, which could very possibly be rocks or trees. It's the sort of painting uh, which I enjoy particularly because it isn't, it isn't fixed to one meaning, but it clearly has a real world uh, origin uh, before it was abstracted, simplified, and made somehow otherworldly and magical. 